All right, we're adding monsters with hit points to the platformer module. I have a different method from what's in the um, forum link, but mine is pretty similar. It's a little inspired. <clears throat> um, this is what I've been doing for years in my games. So essentially it takes the idea from that one. You borrow the health part from the adventure modules, uh, monster hurt script or the player monster hurt script. <clears throat> so when the player hurts the monster or whatever. So it checks the health um, kind of the same way as that does. That's still in the game in um, Nest Maker by default. It's just not used by a lot of modules. It just skips over the code and destroys the object. So we're going to create a blank script and name it hurt monster and then underscore like your project name or just give it a, a unique name of your own. So you're going to go to your project folder. Go into common. You're going to create a script right here for Hurt Monster. <clears throat> this is my Hurt Monster script. This is what yours should look like, something similar at the end of this video. All right. So the next, you're just going to save the blank script. Um, you're going to open your do handle objects collision script for your project. So whatever you have for your do handle object collisions, that's a script you're going to have to open up. <clears throat> so right here, you go to your script settings. You're going to go to your handle object collisions. And you're going to check out what you have there. Go to edit. All right, so in your object collisions, you're going to want to look for player weapon monster collisions, player monster collisions, things like that. <clears throat> Sorry, a bit of a cold today. So we're editing the script. If you have player weapon, Monster collisions, we're going to look for that. In my script, it's around line 80, the player weapon monster collisions are. Okay, in here, by default, on line 99, you can see that we have destroy object. By default, this is what happens. So your script probably looks similar to this. It might have JSR do handle monster because you have a blank script probably associated with it for now. Mine doesn't have a blank script because I just did this tutorial ahead of time to um, show you. So this is what happens by default. It's essentially jumping over your two-handle uh, monster and just destroying the object. So we're going to comment out your destroy object. And then we have your two-handle hurt monster. You have a blank script. Your monster will be invincible, essentially. Yeah, I did save it, okay. Your monster will essentially be invincible. So we have to assign that blank script we just made 
to your hurt monster script. So first you got to make sure that you have that done. So first go to handle monster hurt. So you first you make sure that that line is in your code. Then we can test out your monster hurt once we assign it. So right here it should say it's like an empty script. You can go here, go to your game, your project folder. Now where you saved your script. I put it in common, hurt monster underscore your project name or whatever you named it. That's the hurt monster script. Now my hurt monster script has all this going on. We can uh, comment it out and I could show you Just destroy objects. Just destroy objects. What's going to happen? So there, it automatically will just destroy the object. Now we can show that it's using this by coming that out it'll make the monster invincible. All right, now that we've tested it to make sure that is what it's doing, we can play around with the code and make sure it works. So right now we're gonna check if the monster is in state seven. A Y7, 7 could be your death animation. A lot of people like to use death animation. If you're not using that, you could just comment these two lines out. The important part is making sure that it's checking for your hurt animation. If you're not in the hurt animation, It does all this. If you are in the hurt animation, it skips. Now what that does is it makes sure that you're not taking damage repeatedly. There's some sort of stop in there from your taking damage on the monster over and over and over again. Or else it would just instantly kill pretty much anything you do this to. So we're not going to add health yet. First, we're just going to do this and double check that it's working this. Now, you can double check also by doing the opposite. Right now, with these the way they are, it should be skipping these because you're not in those states and going and doing this. So it should kill the monster. To test that, you can reverse these. As you see, reversing these made it so the monster is invincible because it skips. And goes here. Now what we're doing is we're going to change the mon the monsters action step to six. So you got to make sure that, that monster, all your monsters now that are taking damage, including your bosses have an action step six.
Unless we make them completely immune to your weapons, they have to have action step six. Action step six, I made a stun action step. Stop moving. Go to first after the end of the action. End animation will loop just so it just has a timer on it. I only gave it four frames. It just blinks again and again and again. When that timer runs out, goes back to first, which is the normal animation of just standing still or walking. It's going to decrease the object health. Object health is right there. Then it loads your object health again into X. Oops. After that, it ends the script check. I want to make sure that this is for um, death. So if you have zero health, destroys the object. If it has any health left, it ends the script check, repeats the script check. Oh, look, they're in the hurt state. Don't do anything. Just keep skipping. Until that weapon is destroyed or whatever. Weapon gets destroyed after one hit anyway. So it should be fine. The weapon was something that constantly stayed in effect after the state six wore off, which is the stun step I showed. Then it could take damage again. This would be if when it dies, it plays a special effect. If you wanted to play a special effect when it got hurt, you would put the special effect up here. So there's the hurt one, here's where the die one would be. Then this is where you would create an explosion or a monster death animation, or you just destroy the object. So it decreases the health. That means you must always have health now. On every monster, every object has to be at least a number. It cannot be zero. It has to be one, two, three, etc. So right now we'll put it on one. So instead of getting stunned, it's going to skip that stun. And it's going to say decreases it to zero. When it's zero, destroy the object. So we're going to show that right now. It's going to look the same as it did before. Now, no more editing here. This is good. The script is good. You're going to control your health now through health. So the monster is two health. This is when it goes to the stun step. This is the important part. 
when it's in this stun step, I made it a little longer to show you that while it's in that stun step, it can't be hurt. You can show that by doing this. Your weapons won't affect it. But if you notice, when it's in the stun step, sorry, when it's in the stun step, you can still die. So I didn't make it so it's like you could pass through it when it's done. That can be something else. That's another simple edit. It's even easier than this. Um, so we can test it out. As you saw, I tested it. Um, let's see here. There's the script. It's pretty basic. Like I said, you can add more to it. You can add the sound effects. Or you can do what I just said, made make a skip in there for the um the player. You're gonna probably do that in the object collisions. You can put it um a flag in there or a monster bit or something. So when that monster bit is checked. Either be an action step flag. Oh yeah, monster bits are on the monster completely. Never mind. It would be an action step flag. It would be like when you're in that action step, you do this flag or whatever, and it makes it so the player collides, it will just go right through them. They just walk right through them, there'll be no collision, just skip the collision. All right, so um, like I said, this is pretty simple. You can add an animation or whatever to this. The health should control it. I could even do three health here right now. It's just like I said, I have three weapons. So um, when he's in that, the monster is in that step of invulnerability. I can't waste my shot or else I won't be able to kill him. There we go. So there we are. I hope this video was informative and helpful. I'm going to include a sample of my script. In the video a link to this forum and I'm probably gonna link my video in this forum as well all right I hope you have a great day I hope you enjoyed the video please subscribe and like videos for further um, future content updates and such thank you